also a musician extraordinaire to your delight, Mr. Kevin Gillan. Thank you people for coming along to this absolutely awesome venue. Love it. Some poems from New Poets released by Fremantle Press in 2011. This is called The Unwritten Blue. Remember, in that bruised light, we had dozed in the loft of an A-frame, woke and then walked. The Tuarts browning skyward, warblers and wagtails flitting. You were talking about that book, Life of Pi. Then the river, fat, white froth, moving left to right as if having been red. I don't remember who noticed the dead bird first, one wing pointing skyward, the unglazed eye, a bush parrot, burnt red and khaki plumage, already being reclaimed by bracken. You went to touch it, saw an ant pulled away. We were silent then, hushed by fate and its casual cruelty the late afternoon painting in charcoal around us. Retracing our steps, a symphony of drips and burps from rain and frogs, you on about slivered moons and life and fiction and narratives tied to pull. It was then, in that falter in your voice, that staccato within legato, that you hinted at some loss deeper than sense. That night, in the warm cusp of the A-frame, the tropical triangle we called it, pot belly below having been going all day. You told me about your twin sister who died at birth. How some days you saw her as a bird flying above and ahead, calls of kinship or warning. Other days as the sky. How you noticed, out walking and looking up, that while the gates and letterboxes and gardens stayed still, the clouds and unwritten blue moved with you. Silence, 
There is plain chant, a thin vein of notes, as if someone has fused blood on music, a Latin text that sows and spells me. And these notes are father in falsetto. These notes us, family, our Dorian joy, major sixth intentions, flat seventh acceptance. Never medicine, but a muted room. These notes from the fifth of us that went into that room, stayed behind, sat still, and let the loud world pass by, then rose and left to walk into the sea.